All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to bypass the starter solenoid. So here we have a Cummins IS615 engine and uh, looking at it from the driver's side, here is where the steer shaft would go. Here would be the driver's side steer tire and here we would have all of your fuel filters. So on the bottom of the engine is where the starter is located, right there. On top of the starter, we have the starter solenoid. In order to bypass it, what the service has to do is take a wire about that long, attach one side right here, second one right there. And once they do that, they bypass the starter solenoid and uh, get the starter rotating. Once engaged, the starter will spin the flywheel through these teeth right here. And the flywheel will rotate and spin the crankshaft inside the engine and get it running. The only issue is once the engine is mounted on, there is a frame that goes right here. And it's really tricky to get to the starter, so they have to crawl underneath in order to get that wire attached. And that's pretty much how you bypass the starter solenoid.